How's it going guys? What I wanted to do in this video is actually expand a little bit on some of the videos that I have done in the past where I have demonstrated some techniques that you can use to improve your handgun shooting accuracy. And I wanted to bring a little more detail into this to kind of give you guys a better understanding, especially for you new shooters out there, as well as some of you guys out there that have been shooting for a while that may want to try to improve a little more on your accuracy. Now, always ensure that you follow the safety procedures whenever dealing with firearms. If you are a new shooter, if you are new to firearms, I would highly recommend you get some training. And there are plenty of qualified instructors all over the country, certainly in your area, that will be able to help you. Okay. Now, whenever we talk about accuracy, we're talking about being able to get that shot exactly where we want it to be. Okay. That is just no other way to put it. Now, the first thing that you want to ensure is that when you're doing any kind of dry fire practicing or anything like that, make sure that that firearm is safe. Make sure that it is unloaded, that there is no ammunition anywhere around to make sure that it's safe. Okay? Double check, quadruple check, just make sure that you're doing everything properly, doing everything safely. Dry fire practice is a very good way to help improve your accuracy, to help improve trigger control, and there are a lot of different techniques out there. I've got an entire playlist on my channel. I'll try to leave a card up here in the corner to where you guys can go and check out some of those videos. Now, what we want to do in particularly is to ensure that we have that proper grip. You know, you've heard me talk about it before on any kind of a firearm. You want to make sure that you have that proper grip, okay? And grip that firearm tightly. You know, you don't want to have too much of a grip to where your shaking or anything like that but you do want to have a firm grip and you will see me demonstrate it in the video clip that you're about to see again a slight forward pressure with your primary hand that's holding that firearm and then a slight back pressure with your support hand and that way it will help lock that firearm in place and it will help you become more accurate once you get that grip down and you have that sight picture, that proper sight picture, and that proper sight alignment. That's when you're going to go to build pressure on that trigger. Okay, trigger control is a very critical thing. Now, I know there's a lot of guys out there that talk about how that if you have a good grip that you can overcome improper trigger finger placement and things like that, improper trigger control. And yes, that is true. A strong grip can help overcome some of those errors. However, why would you want to put yourself in a situation to where you're having to do one thing to accommodate for losses and something else? Okay. If you really want to improve your accuracy with a firearm, learn to build each of those elements equally. Build that strong grip, build that proper trigger control. That way you will have a much more accurate shot. Okay. As you are building pressure on that trigger, what you want to do is make sure that you are watching that front sight post. Okay. Whenever you see that front sight post move slightly from where you want it to be, remember, just bring it back, adjust your grip, hold it where you want that shot to go. Have that front sight post in alignment with the rear sight post. Make sure that your focus is on that front sight post and continuously build pressure on that trigger until that hammer falls on that firearm, okay? That's something that you want to do regularly. Regular dry fire practice will help you become more accurate. So here we go. Okay, guys, just like you have heard me talk about in many of my other videos, you want to make sure that your focus is on that front sight post. Okay, you don't want to be focusing on that target. You don't want to be focusing on the rear back here. You know, just to show you guys, there's the rear. There's the target. I want my focus to be that front sight post, okay? And just bear with me guys, I'm trying to do this as much as possible through the lens of the camera to show you guys exactly what we need to do. Also, uh, you want to make sure that you have that proper grip. I have done additional videos to where I go through how to grip a firearm properly. And again, remember that push-pull technique, push forward slightly with your primary hand pull back slightly with your support hand what you want to do focusing on that front sight making sure that you have that proper grip 
as you begin building pressure on that trigger, you want to watch that front sight very closely. If there is any shift in the sight picture, that's where you want to make sure that you bring that back into proper alignment. Keep building that pressure until that hammer falls. Okay, now that's what we're going to do. Okay, focusing on that front sight, making sure that it does not move, and I'm going to continuously build pressure. Okay, once that hammer falls, of course, you know, go ahead, reset the firearm, make sure that you're good, and of course, repeat those steps. And I'm just going to bring in that a little more just to give you a little bit better view of that front sight. Bisect that target, continue to build that pressure till that hammer falls. And you can see there as I build pressure, it does move around slightly, but again, try to keep it as stable as possible. Okay, make sure that you focus on that front sight. Keep the top of that sight post in alignment with the rear sight and begin building pressure on that trigger until that hammer falls. Okay, And once you get very comfortable doing that dry fire practice, when you take that out to the range, follow that same procedure. Guys, the more that you practice this technique, I promise you that your accuracy with a firearm will improve. Okay, Regular practice is key. Get Spend the time out there on the range, you know, get the time set aside to where you can go out and regularly practice this technique. And once you take that to the range, follow those exact procedures and you will see an improvement in your handgun shooting accuracy. Guys, I hope you liked the video. Be sure to share, be sure to subscribe to the channel, give it a thumbs up. Also check out the links down in the description below. Uh, there's a lot of things that can help you. There's some uh, snap caps and things like that, some targets and that sort of thing. Anything you buy through that kind of helps to go to support the channel. Guys, thanks for watching. We also have t-shirts available. Visit my website at boomsticktactical.com and we will see you next time.